39-year-old Francisco Rosales Flores was arrested last week after allegedly trying to lure a teenage girl into his SUV. The incident occurred at around 12.30pm on the 30th of October when a 13-year-old girl was walking along Pitney Lane near Daniel Court in Jackson, New Jersey when she noticed the man drive past her and slow down to talk to her. The driver and sole occupant of the vehicle said, Are you cold? I can give you a ride. Get in my car. The girl used a cell phone to take a video of the suspect. She then ran to the closest home ahead in Danielle Court. The driver then fled on Pitney Lane, towards East Veterans Highway. On the 4th of November, officers used the evidence from the phone and public tips to respond to a home in Citadel Drive in Jackson to positively identify the suspect's vehicle from the incident. The authorities then identified 39-year-old Francisco Rosales Flores as a suspect as reported by the child. Francisco was arrested and is held in custody at the Ocean County Jail. He's been charged with luring. A man is accused of killing his roommate just over an hour after the police showed up to their apartment to de-escalate a fight between the two men. It all began at around 10.33pm on the 5th of November inside an apartment located at 21 Hitchman Avenue in Wayne, New Jersey. Officers responded to the address on reports of a domestic dispute where two men, 38-year-old Frank Rance and 60-year-old Frank Majuri, were fighting, but the officers stopped the fight and left the premises. At around 11.40pm, the authorities received another report at the same address, this time of an unresponsive man. When officers arrived, they found Majuri on the floor of the apartment not breathing. They tried applying life-saving measures, but despite their best efforts, he was pronounced dead at the scene just after midnight. The authorities say that Rance strangled Majuri during the altercation. It's unknown, however, what triggered the dispute. Rance was arrested and has been charged with murder. He's been held at the Passaic County Jail without bail. If he's found guilty, he faces a possibility of life in prison. On the 5th of November 2021, 43-year-old Latasha Starks Twilley was found guilty in the suffocating murder of her 47-year-old husband, Waddell Twilley, after his body was found bound and duct taped inside her attic. Latasha reported her husband missing on the 18th of June 2016, but his wallet, car and other possessions were still at their residence, located at 4127 Cottonwood Road in Memphis, Tennessee. On that same day, the couple's 11-year-old son tried calling his father's cell phone. It could be heard ringing from inside an upstairs wall in the attic, but no one picked it up. He then rushed over to his next-door neighbor's house crying and told the woman that he believes his mother killed his father and police were contacted. When investigators arrived at the residence, they tried calling Waddell's cell phone and they heard ringing coming from inside an attic crawl space behind a padlock door inside a closet. Officers obtained a key from Latosha, and when they opened it, they found Waddell's body in a large plastic tub, encased in concrete and covered with dirt, clothes, cigarette butts and other debris. His hands and feet were bound with handcuffs, and his head was covered in several layers of plastic and duct tape. Latosha told police that when she saw her husband alive early that morning, she could not explain where he was between when she saw him alive and when the police found him dead. She claimed a large hole she was digging in the backyard was for a garden. The authorities reported that he died of suffocation. After being found guilty of his murder, Latosha now faces the possibility of life in prison. Latosha has a violent criminal history and is a registered offender. In 2011, she was convicted of violating and assaulting a 13-year-old boy in 2006. She lewdly assaulted him before shooting him in the back while he was in bed. An attempted murder charge was dismissed and she was released from jail in 2011.